What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Tomorrow is the Minecraft Live event where we're going to be voting on which new mob is going to come to Minecraft. So they've announced all three at this point. The Alley, the Copper Golem, and the Glare are the three mob choices that we have. And today we're going to be talking about which one that you should vote for. Now, I'm not actually going to be telling you which one you should vote for. I'm just going to be giving you all the information on each mob so that you can pick the one that you like the best. First up is the Alley. This mob does not duplicate items. It rather finds items that have already been dropped on the ground after you give it an item. It'll have two slots, so if you give it a piece of stone, it will go and find a stack of stone for you and drop it off next to a note block. If you give it infinity books or mending books or something like that, it will find those books as well. So this is basically a non-stackable item sorter and could be extremely useful to Minecraft. It also has a super cool looking design and would be a great fit to the game. Next up we are checking out the Copper Golem, and this Golem is actually insanely cool. It's made out of copper, which would give copper another use, and if this were added to the game, the Copper Button would be added as well. What this mob does is it pathfinds to the nearest Copper Button, and it'll click that button so it could be used as a randomizer, or even just as decoration since when it oxidizes it will turn into a statue. Now you can actually use an axe on this guy to remove uh, the oxidation, but I think having these as statues around your base or just having these guys walking around your base would be insanely cool and really fun to have. The developers are really trying to add some unique items to your base, some unique mobs that really make your base feel a little livelier, and I think this would be a great choice to do so, especially since it turns into a very cool statue at the end. Even just oxidizing a bunch of these guys and then using them only as statues would be a great choice. Last and definitely not least today, we are going to be checking out the Glare. So this mob actually pathfinds uh, to the darkest areas of your world, and if it's dark enough for mobs to spawn, it will turn angry. Now a lot of people have said this is basically just the F3 menu, which Bedrock doesn't have so it would be useful there, but with the 1.18 update, the mobs will only spawn at light level 0, so it's not really going to be as useful as a lot of people think since it's going to be very easy to tell where mobs will spawn. That being said, this mob is insanely cool looking, it's basically a floating head of lettuce, and it would really be helpful to a lot of players in Minecraft. It could be useful uh, for finding all the dark areas of your base, but as I said before, it does not really have as much of a use in the next update. I pretty much love every single mob that they've put in this mob vote. I wouldn't mind any of them being added to the game. They have said that the winner will be added to the game soon, and the other two will just be put on the idea board for later. So it is possible that we get all three of these mobs in the future, but we are focusing on which one we want first right now. And since this mob vote has gotten a lot of positive feedback on all the designs of the mobs, I really do see them adding these mobs in the future. So if you want to vote for one of these Minecraft mobs, go ahead and tune into Minecraft Live tomorrow where all the details about the vote will be announced. If it's like last year, the vote is going to be some polls on Twitter with multiple rounds of voting. They'll vote out one mob first and then you'll vote on the final mob pick second. So be sure to tune into Minecraft Live tomorrow to be able to actually place your vote. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.